session, local lawmakers, they're working to keep their bills alive. And among them is freshman Republican Kanani Souza, who represents Kapule and Wakakilo. Good to see you. Thanks Good for being to here. See you. Thank you for having me this How's morning. How's the first year, or first session going? It's been exciting. You know, we've been um, very ambitious with our agenda as a freshman legislator. And for our family, it's been really interesting, too, because my brother was also elected as the OHA trustee. So it's been a quite an interesting time in our family. Yeah, and especially like trying to maneuver around politics because as an attorney, you know, going into the legislature, you, you kind of have an idea about it, but getting immersed Absolutely. in all of it. And you, you have a caucus that you created, right? Crime I, Prevention. I do, yes. Um, I created the Crime Prevention and Justice Caucus and kindly Senator Brandon Elefante decided to co-chair the caucus with me. And I'm just so pleased with the work that we've done so far. It's still very much in its infancy. And so we're going to use the off-season the interim to really ramp up the caucus and to introduce some good legislation going into 2024. Yeah, I think a lot of people uh, in your neighborhood, for example, uh, were concerned about the smash and grabs. Yes. Right? That was a big issue that you ran on addressing crime. Um, how has the legislation on that gone? So it passed through the House Judiciary Committee, and we're hoping to have a last minute plea for the Senate side to hear it. But we did introduce legislation to incorporate business operations into criminal property damage in the third degree. So we'll see how it goes. You know, this is to really help our small businesses out in Kapolei and across the state. And so I'm very um, proud to do this good work and to work on behalf of my constituents. Yeah, so important, uh, not just for your area, but across Oahu. Yes. And, you know, being uh, one of the new Republicans also, yes. uh, you mentioned that you were trying to also be an independent voice, uh, not just Absolutely. necessarily being part of the caucus. How important is it? Absolutely. Because, again, there might be a, that challenge of getting legislation passed because of being Absolutely. a part of the caucus. Absolutely. So, you know, I went into the legislature um, thinking that, you know, the Democrats were the big bad wolves, and it has not been that way at all. I've worked so wonderfully with my Democrat colleagues and the level of professionalism, credibility and competency has um, really been amazing, especially as a freshman. So I definitely work well in a bipartisan manner and I'm looking forward to doing my work with them. Yeah, and the off season, like you mentioned, you're Absolutely. going to be working on something with the space industry. Tell us quickly yes. about that. So I introduced a bill um, related to the space industry and I am going to, I'm in law school for the third time actually at Ole Miss remotely at University of Mississippi School of Law. And so I am um, studying air and space law, getting my master's in air and space law. And so because of that, it's made me really look at the space industry and see um, where Hawaii fits into the global space economy, which by 2040 is supposed to be a trillion dollar industry. Wow, we definitely could benefit from a lot of that. Absolutely. Being our location in Absolutely. the Pacific. So, well, it's good to see you, Representative. Thank you for having me. It's good to be here. Congratulations Anytime. on a, a session so far and uh, crossing our fingers for some of the work that you're working on as well.